pole dance, and this friend of mine, this, you know, this, this friend you know. of mine brings in a nice, pretty looking redhead. I'm in the back room. He brings her over, and introduces with to me. With your ex, with your and that was I had friend, this, right? and I never saw her again for a, six yeah, years. I've heard this story. A year later, I've heard this story. Yeah, so tell it. So tell the story. It's a good story. Well, so I went to the dance, and no, no, no. I was engaged, and we broke our engagement. What was his name? Jack Hirsch. We broke our engagement, and I was, I was devastated. I really was. And he had given me a diamond ring and everything, so... To keep it? Huh? To keep it? No, I, like a dummy. Are you the one who broke And my father and mother gave him a set of golf clubs. Oh, really? A pop then, it's so That's typical. So typical. <laughs> and, and, then, and then he it's gave like me this gorgeous diamond ring, and we were dating, and then his mother and father bought me, in those days, real alligator luggage. Oh, jeez. The, the train case, that you open it, snap it open, and the middle comes up with the mirror, right. and then you open oh, it all. so cool. The trays, all your trays, trays. with the my mother, where is that? My mother had that. Like and gross, like cloth. You want Holly's old crap, but where is that? So okay, wait. I, Nan, I we digress though. The luggage, yes, and you, the husband. Come yeah. on. All right, whatever. Move it anyway, along. Anyway, I start dating and uh, this young man. And Al Levine. His name was Al Levine, he was and he graduated Jack. law school. Yeah, I dated a lot of other guys. We graduated law school. Yeah, with that, that's how she rolled. That's how I what? You roll. So we said. And anyway, this Alabi says uh, there's a law school dance, but we're going to a friend of mine's for a cocktail party first. Would you, you know, would you like to go out with me Saturday night? The Hotel Alberton. Yeah. So I said, oh, well, okay. that was the, where the Can I get one step backwards, Anna? Where were you living? Were you living with your parents? Yeah, on so a big house. house. Yeah. yeah. yeah but well, she was only Are 19 sure? or 20. Yeah. And what did Pop Ben do back then? A wine salesman. That he still was a wine wine salesman. He sold wine. And they had a wine salesman of the city. Yeah. He made the most money. Yeah. yeah. And Nana Francis didn't work. No, no, she never worked. And Pod just made a lot of money. Okay, he made a lot of money. He made a hundred dollars a week. That's a lot in those days. Yeah. Maybe okay. more, Mike. I don't know. Flip anyway, camera. Wait, wait we're gonna. I too go late. out with this Al Levine. And we go to this beautiful big house, and there's a bunch of men, you know, law school, who just graduated law. It was a cocktail party, I think, you know, I met everybody. And Mark was standing in between well, those houses there, between the kitchen and the steps and the living room, and in a little alcove. And I looked over and I saw this darling young man, and he had a scar right here. And his hair was short, but he was so darling. And I, I went out with Al, and we went to the dance, and never saw him at the dance. Yeah. And I come home, and the next morning, my best girlfriend called me up. Helen Who? called me. Helen, Helen, ja Helen oh. Jacobs. She's not nice to her now, though. Right. And she you called that me up, and she said, so did you meet anybody? Because she knew I, did, I didn't like this Al. She knew I wouldn't like him. Were you just using him? Well, I just went out with him. I had nothing else to do. I wasn't using <laughs> him. Way. I didn't know him. So anyway, I didn't like him that well. And I came home, and... Uh, the next morning, she called me, and I said, I met this darling man, young man, and I, what was it, Mark, Mark what? I, I don't remember his last name, and what he looked like, cute, but he had a scar on his neck. So what color was he wearing? What was he wearing? A suit. A suit with tie. Yeah, everybody always wore suits. He wore suits. What was the scar from? It's wait right a minute. But so I didn't right know. Well, wait, wait, he still has it. Know. What's the scar from, Papa? Yeah. It's another story. Can we postpone okay. that? Yeah, sure. Surgery, ear infection? No. Yeah, mastoid. Mastoid? Yeah, right. He's right. He had a mastoid. I didn't know it at the time. Anyway, Helen says, what, why didn't you get us last night? I said, what difference would it make? I'm not calling him. And don't you think about three months later? No, a year later. It was a year, a year later. later. Yeah, exactly. A year later. I get a telephone call. No, neither one of us knew each other. We didn't remember anything. And he said, I'm Mark Frankel. And Don Gaynor, who had gone out with two weeks before, who I thought was just adorable, I went out with him, and I, I, I was waiting for him to call me the next weekend. He didn't. Two weeks later, I get a phone call from a Mark Frankel. Don Gaynor told me he went out with you, and he thought maybe I would like you. And I was very upset. I'm thinking, if Don Gaynor didn't like me, what's he giving my name to a Mark Frankel for? Right. I was really shook up. Meanwhile, Mark Franklin says, you want to go out Friday night? I said, oh, no, 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 I'm busy. I wasn't really. 
going out Saturday night. I said, oh, no, I wouldn't go out Saturday night with a stranger. I don't know what they look like. They'll be two, four, four foot two or whatever. Right. He said, well, how about Sunday night? So I thought, yeah, Sunday night's okay. So I said, all right. He said, well, come on, we'll go to dinner. We'll go to a movie. We didn't go to dinner. We went we to had... Albert Johnson's for ice cream afterwards. You and Dad came? I thought we went. Is that what the elephant? No, I went to see uh, Francis the Francis Talking the Mule. Francis the Talking Mule. Whoa. I still remember Whoa. the picture. All right, so anyway, he, he, the Where'd door opens, and this cute guy is standing there in front of me, and I actually Were you living guessed. at home? Yeah, I thought. So Where did you think I was living? I thought you were in college. Storm, storm, no, storm, I had come back from college. I went to work for our kids. Yeah, I'd like to see that old house. So would I. I, 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 I went in it several years ago. Was so, Nan, what Never year? Anyway, to make a Wait, sense. no, it's too late. What year? What year? 1965 Staunton Avenue. That's the name of the, that's the number of the house. Yeah, I graduated in 47, 48. What, what, about 49, 50? How long did it take him to propose? 1949. 1949. And then the how long did it I take? I'll have to pause. So he's standing at the door and I go, hi. He says, hi. I said, you don't remember me? He says, no, I don't know. I said, I met you at this cocktail party. He said, I don't remember you. I don't know. No, that's Papa. I don't remember. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Papa remembers everything. You know, we had such a good, I fell in love that night. I really did. Really? Did, well, did you, did you, did you kiss see him? his picture? What year? Excuse me. What year? 1949. 1949. Did you kiss him that night? I don't remember. Yes, you liar. He probably. <laughs> we didn't. How did I kiss? We didn't kiss. I don't 